Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am here to show you something that I am very excited about. While scrolling around on YouTube to get video ideas or certain things that I might like to do, like for instance, I was just looking up cereal box crafts because there's a million of cereal box crafts out there and we go through quite a few boxes because my mother and the squirrels eat cereal. We feed the squirrels cereal. And I came across these women in this very quick video, like under a minute. I'll link down below. Another country, can't remember off the top of my head, who uh, make paper beads out of cereal boxes. I was like, get out! So I immediately had to try it. And I love it. I will tell you, if you are a paper bead maker, it's a little bit more difficult to roll cardboard, but the end result is worth it. So what I'm going to do is, I've been cutting strips uh, with an inch base, and uh, then I was trimming this part off, so I'm just going to take the folded parts off now, just so I don't have to trim those. You know, these, this at least, could be, you know, trimmed to make a bead. I don't know, I might not throw it away. And let's just do right here. Now I'm going to cut a one inch strip and I'm using the back side of my mat because this particular mat doesn't have the grid on the back so it's my craft side and yeah I should probably get a different rotary cutter for crafts uh, you know to cut paper but anyway I'm going to make a one inch strip just one inch all the way down And then I'm just going to cut this corner to corner-ish. You can freehand cut with scissors, or you can kind of aim your ruler, or you can, um, I don't know, you can do whatever you want. The goal is we want two triangles out of this strip. Two triangles. What I do, since the cardboard is a little thick, I curl it first, like this. But then now that's curly and it's kind of in the way, so I curl it back the other way. It's just to make it more flexible makes it much easier. And I have a few other ideas um, about how to make this easier, but that'll be for another video. So just like with paper beads, you're going to just start. I use a skewer and you're just going to start rolling. And it's a little bit harder, just a little bit. Once you get going, it's cool. And you will get, you know, various size beads. It depends on how wide your base is and the length of your strip. You can make saucer beads. You can make, uh, you know, beads that are almost perfectly round. You just got to play with it. Now, you can actually take these off your stick if you want or off whatever you use to roll and just roll like this. I tend to still like having it on a stick. And you notice I haven't been putting glue all the way like I normally do. And it's just because, I don't know, I just don't feel like I have to with this. And the cool thing is, even though it's glossy, this side isn't. So it doesn't slip around a lot like if you do just a, a page of, you know, something glossy, like a glossy magazine or whatever. And just keep rolling adjust as needed and don't be too fussy about it. I just think these look so rustic, especially the the colors that I happen to have. Now see this one? Okay, I was able to slide it into place a little bit better there. They get super chunky super quick and they dry hard as a rock because that's frigging cardboard. How cool is that? I made a bunch. I'm gonna show you. They're not Mod Podged yet. But look, look at them all. And that's just from that one box. And they're still pretty colorful. And if you have like the kids cereals, you're going to end up with a lot more colors. So I just thought you'd like to see this. Give it a try if you like making beads. And like I said, try different widths at the base and different lengths and just have fun with it. I'll uh, show you a close-up of these beads at the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!